Well, Stephen, was uh, Tom Moore's begging for the ball by the end, by the time he got to nine or ten bowlers used? Yeah, we had a discussion at tea and we thought it'd be quite um, quite fitting to get all 11 to have a ball. Um, you know, I, I think the big three deserve to put their feet up for a couple of sessions after the efforts that they've put in for for the last three days. You know, I don't, I don't think we could have given it any more. I think we've, you know, to get 5.50 on, on day one or day one and two and then make them follow on on a, on a really good wicket. Um, I thought it was a magnificent effort and I can't be prouder of the efforts that every, all of them have put in. Yeah, and how important is that result in the context of the table as well with Middlesex um, up there in the top three as well? Yeah, I think we're getting another point on them. Uh, obviously, it been nice to gain, get 23 points, but um, you know, credit to Robson and Storman. I thought they played re really well because we bowled well last night and again this morning, so credit to them. Um, but yeah, you know, we, we're still top of the table, I believe, by 11 points. Um, you know, we've got a massive game in a couple of weeks at Glamorgan. Ben Duckett looked look like he enjoyed his wicket. <laughs> he did enjoy his wicket. I think he's kept the ball. So, you know, uh, you know, it's great fun when you when you're in a position like that where you know you can't win the game. You're definitely not going to lose the game. So to have a bit of fun, uh, you know, and I think I just got told that it was a record that was held since 1905 that all 11 bowled. So, you know, to be in the record books for for a different reason is quite funny and, and good fun. Now, has even me got a ball today? But we'll talk about his batting as well. Um, another ton for him. Um, how impressive have you been? With his role at the top of the order, that's two centuries against Middlesex this season. Yeah, he's he's been unbelievable. As you will know, and people who are watching might not know, but he, he bats as, uh, as much as anybody I've ever met. He's he's an unbelievable trainer. Um, played unbelievably well. Got us, you know, set a set a platform for us to go in. Uh, and I thought him and Lyndon were were magnificent in that first innings to to get us up to you know a total of five fifty to put us uh, in a position where we could put some real pressure on on Middlesex. Yeah, word on Lyndon as well. The, the balcony looked delighted for him when we went to his uh, first Trent Bridge Chorn. How special moment was that academy graduate going to three figures out here? Yeah, he's a fantastic player and a fantastic person. I think if anyone who's ever met him, he's you know one of the most hard-working uh, people I've ever met, in, not just in cricket but out, outside of it. He's a, he's a great lad, you know, and he's got hopefully, I know he'll keep his feet on the ground because he's that type of person, but you know, I, I would expect big things of him both here and hopefully higher honours as well. And it's a couple of weeks now, I think, until the next championship game. Is that Glamorgan away, Glamorgan if I remember away, yeah. rightly, which um, which should be a keenly fought contest after that uh, season opener here? Yeah, obviously we didn't. We had a couple of bad sessions in that game, which uh, we got wrong, which probably cost us the game. They've just come off a good win at Worcester today, chasing three thirty odd. So they're a good team, you know. And we're, you know, we're going to have to go there, ready to play and and be on our on our game because they're a good team. And you know, hopefully we can go there and get a positive result. Then starts putting you know the table into context and one and two probably start pulling away from three and four a bit more so you know but we we've got a couple of 2020s and then a bit of downtime next week which everyone needs after some couple of hard four day games um and then when it comes to that we'll be we'll be ready to go and, and ready for Glamorgan yeah cheers Steve. cheers